big defence news today, which is Rishi Sunak mm. finally announcing something, a major policy, which is funding defence, something I've been on about for a decade. Um, they're going to raise defence spending to 2.5% um, by 2030, uh, which is a cash injection of £87 billion. This is a This is massive, and you credit where it's due. Every single Prime Minister since 2010, since David Cameron, has cut our armed forces, cut mm. our platforms, cut our numbers. You know, we've talked about defence cuts. Every time I'm on, on, on this show, I'm banging on about it. Finally, a serious policy has been announced by Rishi Sunak, to his credit. This is an extra £9 billion a year. Now, look, we have been cut to the bone. The armed forces have been cut to the bone um, over the last decade of defence cuts. So there is going to be... Uh, it's not going to... We're not going to... It's going to take a long time to regenerate. Yeah, but... This is a start. This is the first time the Tories have actually stood by their policy of being strong in defence. And, and the problem, and I'm sorry to sound so cynical about this, because like you, I fully believe in this policy and I fully believe in giving military more money. They've had 14 years to do it. Mm. They're doing it now when they don't yep. actually have to Why put not? a penny on the table. Mm. They can just promise because this is all going to be, you know, manana, manana. This is all after the election when they're not going to be in power. So th I believe they're just trying to make some clear blue water between them uh, and yes. the Labour Party so that at, during the election campaign they can say, you're soft on defence, we're tough on, you know, security. Yes, but then the, the argument should be, I would like to see actually Keir Starmer say, yes, we'll make a similar promise. He already that's, has. That's what, no, he but already the, has. The, the, to the to the tune of 2.5 He already has. GDP. He said he, he said he would do it if it's in line with he inflation. He didn't, yeah, he he didn't, did. he didn't specify he did. GDP. You know, he, he has said it. He said it if it's in line with... Um, if, fun, if, we're, if the funding's available, but it's going to be very... It's, they're going yeah, to have to... Yeah, because I saw it was very wishy-warty. Exactly. I actually think uh, issues like defence, climate change, should be cross-party. Mm -hmm. They should be a separate... They should be set, separate policy structures within Parliament. So you're planning for 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah. It's absurd to be doing this. But then so should social fire. care, so should pensions. There are so many things which need... So should big infrastructure projects, you, you could argue. Yes. There are so many things that need a 20-year outlook rather than that short-term I completely agree, crisis. but defence is the one thing that is absolutely fundamental yeah. to our democracy. Yeah. yeah. That's the point of government, really.